Welcome back to Crux HQ. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some Karakuri boxes. So Karakuri are a group of craftspeople from Japan known for making really beautiful handmade wooden puzzle boxes that often have a bit of a playful style to them. So they've made the dice one previously. This is called the Moon and Bear that you've got to try and open up. So you can see there's a real playful element to it as well as some real serious talented woodworking going on. So these ones here are called the small boxes. I think it's fairly obvious why they're named such. And these give a really nice introduction to the work of the Karakuri group. So they're beautifully made. The quality is just the same as the larger boxes, but they've got a relatively simple mechanism to them, each of them. Different mechanism in each one. They've actually got eight small boxes in the series. We've got one to four here. I know the solution for number two, but I can't remember the solution for one, three, or four. So join me and we'll see if we can work our way through them. Okay, let's start obviously with small box number one. So this one you can see really nicely made little cube. Looks pretty plain all around. Just the maker's mark over here. And I've found a sliding panel there on the top. So traditionally with Japanese puzzle boxes, often the solution is just sliding panels around to release the mechanism. So this is the first sliding panel. So maybe we're gonna find another sliding panel. And also just notice the seam here is basically invisible. Like it's so well made, you can basically not see the seam of where this panel joins. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sliding panels here. So maybe this is not a purely sliding one. Doesn't seem to be any sound coming from inside. Really nice wood this is made out of as well. I think the darker ones are possibly walnut. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know they do craft them from all sorts of different nice hardwoods. So as I mentioned, these should be relatively simple. There's generally just maybe one to four kind of steps on each box. So we've got that first panel moving, then has that, that must have released something. So it doesn't look like there's any sliding panel on the bottom there, or indeed on that one. Could it then just be a pull apart? Oh, okay. So half the box, I could see that there was no actual seam between this panel and this panel. We've managed to slide two pieces aside and the top comes off. So there we go. Nice little puzzle box. Can I hit a move there? I think um, I've got to the point now where I kind of know what I'm looking for a little bit in these kind of puzzles. Locks up pretty nicely. You've got a little bit of story space in there. So that first move, then we're gonna pull them apart like this. Slide this one all the way over and it's opened up. So yeah, you could fit maybe a ring or a little small note or something in there. Pretty cool little puzzle box. So number two, I do know. So I'll just show you that one. It's also got a very cool mechanism. So I really like the fact that you've got all these different boxes here and they've all got different mechanisms. So we've essentially got a series of boxes that look pretty similar. They're all fairly plain looking, like this one here. Obviously a different wood there, but again, not much in the way of any kind of clues around the outside or any decoration. So this one, you can try the same kind of idea, moving panels, but there's nothing's gonna move on this one. There's no sound coming from inside. So this one really doesn't seem to have anything that you can actually move on it. It does have the maker's mark down here. And in order to open this one, all we need to do is one move. So that move is just find the maker's mark, give it a push, push, and the lid pops open. Just held in place there, I think, by some magnets and you've opened the box. Again, we've got very similar kind of storage space in all of these ones, relatively small little space inside there. And I said magnets, but I don't actually know if it is magnets or if it's just pressure that's opening that one up. So there we go, small box number two. So on to number three. See if we've got anything that will move on this one to start with. Okay, so the panel again, we've got a panel that moves on the top there. So a really similar start there to box number one. I'm assuming it's not gonna be the same solution, no. Again, no kind of indication of any moving parts on the inside. Let's see if this is more of a, tr oh, this panel on the side here does feel like it's gonna move. Does it? A little bit. So I think we just need to get this one over a little bit more. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool, so just pushing around. So this panel slides, then on the underneath, we just give this whole base panel here a push. 
top of the box pops open and I'm guessing we're going to be able to slide the lid off and open it up. There we go. Box number three. That one's pretty fun. But you can see these mechanisms, they're not complex. They're not overly difficult. It's just the way that they're made is so nice. So if you take a look here, you can see the joints along the seams. You can't tell that any of these are actually gonna move. You can see the tolerances on these boxes is incredibly high. It does mean that you need to store them in non-humid conditions. Otherwise, if the wood expands a little bit, it can wreck the mechanisms of these ones, but you can see just how well made they are. Number four now. This is about the same size as number one there, a little cube box. This one's slightly different. We've got this piece that moves underneath. So it looks like we've got two halves of the box here, a kind of bottom and the lid or something like that. It's moving a little bit in and out, but it's obviously locking out at that certain point. So I don't think this one's gonna have moving panels just because of this underneath side. Could be a spinner maybe. Um, what could we do with this one? It doesn't feel like there's an awful lot of possibility here. So there's obviously something holding it on the inside and we've got to release that something. This could be maybe one that you gotta try and knock a pin out. Don't want, I don't really want to do this to these kind of boxes, but I know that some of the Karakuri ones have, I'm thinking bad radio here. Right, this is the point where you need to make your guess in the comments and see if you can get it right. And I'm not gonna accept a hammer as a guess. I think that's the most frequent comment we get. It was kind of maybe funny the first time, but maybe the 700th time it's not so good. So when you do get these simple puzzles, where there's not a lot to do with them, it can get a little bit kind of uh, difficult to carry on because you just feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. So sometimes it's the best to kind of think about it for a little bit and come back to it. But I am gonna get this one, it can't be that hard. I reckon we're, we're talking one move here to do this. We just gotta find out what that move is. I'll tell you what the move isn't, it's just shaking it. Okay, so look at this, I've just discovered this panel here, I can kind of pull it down. So this, there's a, panel here on the underside that is magnetized. I can slide it down, but I don't seem to be able to actually get anywhere from there. So if I slide it down and then try pulling this underneath section out, it doesn't work. Can I? Aha. Okay, so it was hitting. Bad radio was the solution. So we've just got a little screw here that's magnetized and it's just a case of releasing it from the magnet that holds it there. And again, we've got this little space inside. So this coming in and out, not really doing anything, I don't think. I don't think that's really anything to do with actually solving it. A bit of a red herring. Overall though, pretty cool little puzzle. So, small boxes, one to four, all very cool. Let me know which one's your favorite. I think for me, I quite like number one and I quite like number three. I don't know which one would take it, but yeah, a really cool selection of little small puzzle boxes that gives you a really good introduction to the world of Karakuri. So, as always, if you want to check these out further, I'll leave a link for them down below. If you haven't already, I would recommend subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, but that's it for today. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.